Okay, a Kane Inknun. Inknun back from the dead. Yeah, it does have a lot of sixes and zeros. All right, readying up. Here we go. Ink Nun probably wanting some revenge on, on Joe there. That was one of those situations where it's a shame one of them has to go to the loser's bracket because both those guys are the toppest of top tier racers, as we're seeing here in these finals. It does show that yeah, while while, while, while Necrodancer has, has a lot of RNG, it is certainly a game of skill. We see a lot of the really top level guys always making it pretty much to the end. Obviously, there's some randomness there, and, and some get out a little earlier, but um, it is cool to see. And wow. Kane wants a minute to break that wall. I don't know if it's going to cooperate well. Yeah, but it's it's a good one. It's got a lot of axes, although Ink Nun doesn't take any of the axes. It's got so much weapon choice, it's hilarious. Hmm. And it... <sighs> you definitely take Need, at least. Yeah, Kane takes Need, but that's it. So the Obsidian Broadsword which is sort of a strange thing to I, find I, in 1-1. One, one. I, I think that's a fine choice for Ink. I think a cane should take one of the axes. I think the Blood Axe is too good. Blood? Too good to know. not Gold take. Gold is fast. Uh, yeah. Know, like top line speed. Uh, yeah, but Gold isn't late game as much as Blood is, I feel. Although maybe you're going to find something along the way anyways. That seems to be the case. Like, say, an Arc oh. Dagger. <laughs> that's a good one. Well, I just think like a cane probably, you know, if you are a lower seated person in the race. I, you yeah, you go for variance. Exactly. Yeah, if you know that you're going to get outplayed in just the, the movement, you're going to want to do that. Oh, this uh, glance over here, because of that carrot, he's going to take a glance over here and finds this and gets himself a ring of shadows. That's the best time to get a ring of shadows is your first conjure. And he's gonna build himself a full build. Now he just has to be careful not to take too long to do this. Getting some lead boots. Now this is 1-3, so he, he has a lot of weapon access here. Uh, I don't know why you would swap your weapons though. Okay, what's happening now? There's his ring, ring of gold. He's gonna shop for a different ring. And it's the ring of luck. Shopping for another ring. Okay, meanwhile, Ignan's already almost down to zone two. Okay, ring of might. This I like. Uh, wait. Oh, okay. What's happening? Uh, I don't think he knows. Right. What? Yeah. So I, I got a work email and looked at it and responded for 15 seconds. And I come back and a cane has a conjurer full of items. Yes. And uh, he is two zones zone behind. behind. Two zones? No, one zone behind, right? Yes. Pretty much, yeah. A little died. over one zone behind. No. Uh, but yeah, that, that was a it's long kind of time to be doing that. It is a pretty sweet build. Oh, and that quick kill on the roll, the lucky roll on Deep Blues there. If he was one space closer, it would have been an insta hit. First of all, if you, I would take War then. Second of all, skip the boss chest if you spent all of that time. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, if you've got your build, push it. This is a quick war zone two. Find an axe. Like what? Yeah, War in case you take an axe for sure. Ooh, Snowbro. I mean, it, sometimes it's worse in that uh, you can push things away that you want to zap, but most of the time is better. I agree. Don't get killed right away are the things like bosses that you want to make get stuck to things. So uh, that was a missed bomb. Okay. He ended up using the need kill, which is pretty hilarious. Okay. We've seen that a few times this tournament now. We sure have, and he's now still about a zone back. He's got the far superior build, but only in defense and a little bit of mapping. And that might not be enough to catch him up to Ink Nun. I mean, well, I like the conjure play, but yeah, the mapping is helping him out a ton here. A lot. I think he, I've, I'll i put money that he's ahead of Ink by the end of uh, the zone four boss. I guess depending on what Ink finds. Definitely, uh, yeah, uh, build-wise. He does have the better build. He's still got a bunch of ground to catch up. Actually, no, he doesn't. <laughs> be ahead. Yeah, like, I'm not, I'm not saying, like, build it. I, he'll just be ahead. 
Yeah, Man. yeah, you're right. He is now it's about like to be on the same floor as Ink Nun after being a zone behind. This 4-1 has taken Ink as long as it took a cane to do zone three. Yeah. And he's just rolling some more. All those good items coming out of that 4-1 uh, chance shrine. Now he's got to be careful here. He's got a, a, a oh, tele monkey chasing him. Pick. That was awesome. That was sick. It's too bad it wasn't the mini boss behind it, but that was sweet. Yeah, that was some good wall pig plays. All right, still a bit behind. Ink Nun has the lead, but such a minimal build no, comparatively. Yeah, is Ink Nun gonna be able to keep pushing here? The Curd Shovel, as we said in the last run, it matters. Oh, that electricity going through oh the wall God. because oh. of the wall spider. Love it. I thought it came, was gonna get stuck on the uh, Wind Mage. Oh, I missed it. Boo. He was a, he had like a one tile hallway into that into a boss room. He hit a ghoulam on it, so there was goo there, and oh. then a wind mate just kept pulling him back onto it. <laughs> Yikes! The old soft lock. Yeah, Kane should mash face with that potion. I agree. He's got defense. He's got like essentially plate mail. He needs to push. He is about a floor behind at this point. The mm -hmm. snow bro working out nicely for Ink Nun, but the the courage shovel working well for a cane. So see how this plays out. Like Ink, uh, this was the this has been the gap between these two since the four one beginning of zone four. Difference. Like when yeah, a cane was leaving zone three. Yeah, a cane is not gaining enough. This he should gain a lot with this mapping though. Uh, I think this is this is where it. This is his chance. Know. Yeah, he's now on the same floor. Um, he's got to not open the doors. Yeah, he's got to use his courage of shovel, shovel of courage, to uh, go through. His courage of shovel. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and he's using his health wisely, and now both on dead ringer, and this dead ringer does not look particularly on the rails. <laughs> uh, uh, it's gonna work. Wow. I've seen wow. Ignan's. He did something like that in a different run, and I feel like it's just. Actually, a cane seems to be doing something similar as well. What up with this? What are these strats that I don't know? Inks was Japanese. Inks was that was... Japanese? Okay. Inks was weird. Yeah. Oh, the freeze though. That might cost oh, him a bit. Bad. And he's not gonna get this teleport. So now that's some They're game gonna... time for a cane. One hit ahead, only. But... Two hits now. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be ahead by about three hits, which is a lot on the Necrodancer. So this does look like it's gonna be Ink Nun's game, but unless something real squirrely happens, I mean, he does only have a heart and a half, but no, he's fine. So Ink Nun does take it, but again, both racers on the Necrodancer. Can't ask for better than this. Kane didn't get much help from the Necrodancer. Uh, if he had a really good fight, I think it's close, but yeah. I think probably still takes it. Yeah, it was close. Uh, it was about a 13 second difference. No, 11 second difference. Mm -hmm. Almost exactly to the hundredth of a second. I kind of wonder if a cane like is just wanting to play like Neyman does now. I don't really remember him doing this kind of style before. A cane? Uh, he seems to be paying more attention to tanking up. I think we've seen a bit yeah. of a shift in terms of our racers' strats. Um, now we see a lot more. I think with the rise of Naaman, people have started to take that kind of uh, more methodical checking of 1-3 shops and stuff like that. You got knocked out by Mac doing this style. I think I was still at work during that set. But it's kind of weird because normally, uh, I think that's right, Jack. So like normally what we see in a cycle of these is like very tanky builds are popular right when, you know, like right when the DLC launched or right when zone four launched, right? Because we don't know how to play. So the more you can have protection and health, the faster you can go. And then, you know, as we get more used to things, the better push and play really efficiently. Yeah, that's exactly right, Heather. It's a gamble. 
but it's a nice meta. I think it's good for from a viewer standpoint to have that kind of meta of like, you know. Yeah, totally. I do not see ink right he now. He dropped. Yeah. Okay. All right. Filled with determined naming. I like that. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. This is a best of three, by the way. So uh, a cane is on the ropes. And uh, Ink Nun looking for a suplex. But I do like that, uh, you know, some amount of gambling on is, am I going to get good items here, is like possible and uh, potentially viable. Let's yeah, it, it, it's, an, it's strategy, an interesting, right? it adds an extra like decision of like, do I just go for the full speed and hope that the seed is bad? hope that my bot because it was like for a while it was just low percent zone one and get a good weapon from the boss chest that was always what it was or at least for a very very long time right okay what's going on with these seeds here that's yeah that's kind of still how i play um and i don't know whether i should try to give that up for the name and style or whether like jack says it's unsustainable yeah yeah i don't know Strat is just win. Strat is yeah, win. I guess so. I think screen watching is kind of part of that. Don't let your opponent get a ridiculous build that you don't have unless you're way ahead, like Inknet was in that last build. Right. Although, I mean, a king caught right up. He was like more than a zone behind and caught right up because of his build. I am really curious to see how Toon Mod races go. Um, because I think some of the changes could fix a lot of the problems that we have with the, the racing meta right now. Sorry, what's that? So I'm, oh, I'm just excited to see how Toon Mod uh, works and whether it fixes some of the things that are. Yeah, issues. it should be interesting. I don't know too, too much about it. I've been too busy to keep up with all that stuff, but it does seem like there's some pretty interesting choices based on all the knowledge we have of how racing works. Um, yeah. Making it more and more balanced. One thing that I, 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 I'm concerned about, and I think it, it applies to the Isaac um, seeded races, is it reduces too much variance. Like, it'll just be too good for the top tier players because they'll just win all the time. Which is, is like, that is that's true. what they should do because they're the top tier players, but it's kind of like, yeah, but then it's just not as fun. And I think that's what happened with Isaac was it just wasn't as exciting because the top guys just won because they were the top guys. And I think from a racing perspective, for the racer, it's like, well, yeah, we should win because we're better. But it's like, yeah, but that's not as fun. It's not as interesting. So I think I'd be, I, I'm not going to say that that's what's going on right now because I still want to see what happens. But it's, it's something to keep in mind. It might not be as interesting. It's hard for me to pin all of the blame for, like, Isaac being a bad speed game on that. <laughs> no, <laughs> right? no, 100%. But when the seeded experiment happened with Isaac, it was pretty boring because it was either well i guess there was still the rng of like one guy goes right the other guy goes left and then the one who That's, chose the correct way yeah. won the run the match but right. you also had that thing where it, it did make it more fair but more fair isn't necessarily more entertaining Aim. buddy what uh, kind of splashing around the coral rift oh just having a bath yeah having some fun I don't think you're understanding what I'm saying, Haikyuu, but that's okay. All right. I, I, the, the monocle thing I was skeptical of, but I'm, I'm at least curious to see how it plays in a you know, tournament setting now. I think it's cool. I think I like the monocle choice. I will be, I, yeah, I'm just like, I'm interested. I'm, I'm, I think it'll be an exciting change and very interesting. I'll have to check if I'm available and if I have time to practice, because it would be fun to take part in a race. Um, but I just get completely demolished. We'll see. Anyway, we got a race going here, and the Ink Nun finding some awesome things to swap to. Gets himself a big dig and a titanium yeah. uh, axe. Oh, yeah. So this is like a killer build now. This is right, all you need. Is like, 
gonna go like, oh, we have some kind of like crappy builds fighting it out, but uh, all of a sudden, axe. Yeah, it was a big shovel. find for a cane, and that's something the monocle's not gonna help you out on uh, when picking those up. So yeah, he uh, he had a titanium flail coming into that. And, uh, and, a, and a three damage axe coming out. And now we've got a mana heal build. That's intriguing. Yeah, definitely good. I, I like Inks. Like that was a uh, concrete decision by Ink to go fairly far out of the way for a purple chest. And it's good, build, yep. like situational decision making. Oh, he could have got the kill on that uh, Minotaur there, but that's okay. It didn't cost him much time. We got a Darkness pickup for a cane. That could be good. Zone 5 added the uh, extra... Because after after Zone 3, mapping didn't matter in the old um, in the non-DLC build. But now Zone 5's got a little bit of mapping to it that can can be a difference. So taking that Darkness late, late Zone 3 is still pretty worth... Oh my god, uh, he goes down, what? Uh, um, wait. What happened there? He got tangled, he, he went for a heal, but he went for a heal one beat too early. He was going for a heal buffer. But it's mana heal. Oh wait, yeah, shouldn't, how many heals was he doing? Did he just he miss just a heal? heal. Is yeah, there a he priority thing with that? No, I don't think he should have died. Like, uh, yeah, I don't I, think he should have died either. I can't put together the like within the beat priority that explains this. Yeah, I have no idea. He should have been safe. Spooty has an answer. Heal buffer Fireball doesn't work against death beats. metal. The heal happens between beats. That is stupid. What? Why? Because death metal's uh, beats are too fast. Is that why? No, it's just a special. No, no, it's not a. It's not a beat speed thing. It's a within the beat priority thing. Oh, so between death metal's fireball and the heal, because the heal normally protects you. Because that's what heal buffering He's is. He's saying or... you can't heal buffer death metal fireballs. Because the because they don't happen like during they don't happen during the beat. The fireballs go between the beat, not the heals. Correct. Oh, you were saying the heals. I was very confused. Oh, was I? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay. Yeah. The fireballs. Right on. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay, well, that's an enormous opening for a cane here, and got to be a frustrating death. I mean, if you watched... <laughs> Inknun has a, a gi right now, um, but if you watched, he was pretty cornered by those beetles, too. Um, and I think, yeah, just realized that he could just... You know, mana heal. That was just right. such a weird situation. So rare. It's dumb. That shouldn't exist. Yeah, that 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 was bad. That was a bad death. But I'm... like at, at the same time, you know, it's a released game at this point, and I I don't, I don't know that I expect more like fixes to stuff like that. Dude. Nope. It's just the, yep. yeah. It's just some of those quirky things happen sometimes. I mean. When you're making a roguelike, it's really hard to account for absolutely every single uh, synergy or situation, and it is, and that's part of the charm sometimes of roguelikes is you get these really ridiculous things. Like when I play Spelunky, I die in ways that I never thought was imaginable all the time, right. and it's it's what makes it entertaining. Uh, but yeah, that was that was a weird mechanic that was very uh, you know yeah. not expected. It seems. I, I think it's kind of weird in that I, I feel like uh, a lot of the deaths at this level are weird edge cases because they're the things that top players can't predict on the fly. Yes. Right? I'm sure Ink knows about that thing, given that, like, Jack and Spooty know about it. Um, but, I, you know, I it's, it's one thing to know it and another thing to apply it mid-race. Oh, yeah. It, it, just things were off the rails, and it was really spooky speaking of spooky this fortissimal fight is not exactly yeah. ideal here and he's got earth you can just earth him like it's not too hard to do that but that's okay yeah those blade masters were a couple of real goons there blade masters do kind of suck to be totally honest i don't mind them but that's I, fine i under i it's like what's a common pest other than mosquitoes uh, no, bees are important. Um, mice? 
No, I have, mice are nice. Okay. Uh, anyway, I understand why they exist and are important for the ecosystem. Would like to not have them. I see. Uh, that's, how, that's how I feel about Blade Masters. They're, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to disagree. Um, I don't have too much of a problem with it, but I also don't play this game competitively, so, you know. <laughs> well, I, I, I've i played two matches this season, so I... Yeah, so that makes you a, a competitive expert, right? All right, Inkin on getting some revenge on, uh, on Death Metal 3 there. Why didn't that fight go that well the first time? <laughs> I mean, he had a three damage axe, too. There was no reason for him to be in the wacky situation he was in. I guess it was teleports, maybe? Also has the extremely wacky mana earth combo. Oh, yeah. The it's best too bad combo. he doesn't have a current shovel. That's, like, the most fun thing. Oh, it's so good. Or minor. Well, no, Miner's Cap's a little wonky. It's not bad, though. And uh, Kane trying to get rid of this ring. Still has to do a, a dark Necrodancer here. Got himself a dagger yep. of frost. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> What's happening? Some real maneuvers going on there. Some leap maneuvers from a cane. And I think trying to make this a credible threat, and it's a pretty good run back, but it was just such a late death that there's no real chance. Yeah, yeah, it was too late. I, Three zones I behind is hard to come back from. Uh, Earth spell to get away from spiders, and it just doesn't work. The spiders go on the wall. That mana Earth was wonderful. Oh, baby. <laughs> GG's. All right, a cane taken game two after what was a clear victory for Ink Nun, but a wacky bug taking him out. Don't even joke. Yeah, Jack, get out of here. <laughs> uh... Could be eliminated. Like right now. He's no one comment. Race away. From eliminating Ink, then? I know. That's kind of crazy. The, w the world of Necrodancer is, is in tumult and uprising. Yeah, everything hangs in the balance here. This is game three. Winner of this moves on to the loser semifinals to play the winner of Heather and Maya. Loser goes home with, I think, $100. Uh, I have no idea. Probably. Sounds right. I'm checking. Yep, $100. And the winner of this guarantees themselves at least 150 Not bad. Wait, you dig level zero walls on phasing mode from Earth? Oh my gosh. Ryan. <laughs> I also, it's like, there's clearly all of these things that are like, you know, like that was a change that happened after testing. And so like, did anyone test it on phasing mode? Well, I think there the priority is make it work on normal mode. Because yeah, you don't want those goo soft locks. Because that's what we saw right but there, like, was Inknan would have been soft locked because he was gooed. Imagine that's how you lose mm -hmm. is your uh, fortissimal four fight. Oh, that. That would have been bad. That's a nice that's shot. Gonna... That's an insanely good shot for Inknan. That is ridiculous. And it's one yep. two, so you wouldn't expect it to be so good. Is a cane gonna notice, or is a cane just gonna move on without it? That is such a good shop. Just leave. You don't even need to kill him. Ah, uh, you can. It's probably safer. Yeah, you don't see that so much. A lot of people kill those mini bosses, but if you've got the shovel, I guess you don't want the the um, dragon creeping up on you. What is in this lock shop? Oh, the oh, lock shop could be the saving yeah. grace here. That's pretty good. Killing for that though, like. Yeah, I don't know about that. Don't forget the bow. <laughs> that would be the worst pickup of all time. <laughs> Let's negate these boots of pain and just have a worse weapon that we can't throw. Well, you can open barrels still. That's true. And wind mages or bounce traps still use the pain or, or ice. 
Boots and Pain are always somewhat useful, but... And that's an Obsidian Cat. That'll be nice with those Boots of Pain, but also quite nice uh, with Ink Nun's super fast build. Uh, but it, the, it's Cat Current Shovel. Also, yeah. he's just, like, digging around and Where balls. even is this? Yeah, yeah, go that way. Go that like... Uh, where are we? Also, he could have just... Oh, he bombed for the armor. I was like, why did he bomb that chest? What is this 2-1? A cane finds it oh, first. Yeah, down rat. All right, he's had enough of this wacky mapping. Decides to use his carrot. That's a weird... I mean, it's, it's zone 2, right? Like To use the carrot? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the reason for that was. Wow. A cane really blew through that health. <laughs> you know, uh, he did. Oh, and he blew up the, the trap door that he was just going to use, too. Mm -hmm. uh, cane, please. All right, he's got an apple. All right. I mean, the good thing about Kane's build is he's doing three damage, assuming his uh, his cat is charged always. So just assume you have three damage and off you go. I guess that's dangerous because you don't want to assume it when you have your have your obsidian weapon. Uh, but grenade charm. Uh, this look this is looking good for ink. This is looking uh, very good for it? ink. Uh, oh, that! I thought that was real darkness, and that was no spells, though. Nope, mana is not going to be super useful. Although it's worth taking. What is... It's not going to hurt to you have. Understand, you understand wh why Akane did that for how he did? Because I don't. Which one? The three one that he's currently on? Yeah, he looked in the arena, didn't take grenades. Oh, the slip and slide into the clapper! Oh my god, the timing! What could he have done? Thrown a grenade. If he was quicker on the grenade throw, he could have maybe saved it. That would have been pretty hype, actually. I think he, he might just be spooked. I think he's super spooked. Or Finding to... just the single apples. Oh my god, that goblin on the bounce drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the protection charm saved his life. That's true. Oh my god. He's got to be so spooked with the, with the inability to see through the walls too. You got to check that. Don't forget you have a grenade jar. He didn't even check it. Was the food shop? Or wait, did he already see the food shop? Where did he get all his health from? Uh, where did he? He got it from the magic. Uh, oh, the magic ham, drumstick. yeah. Or the drumstick, the condor drumstick. Yeah. They both did the same transmute thing, which seems weird. I wonder if a cane isn't screen watching because I don't think you do that trend if you saw what. No, nope. and the lack of luck that was a cheese in that barrel for Ink Nun, not for a cane. Luck, guys, it's it's good. Oh, that was almost. Oh yeah, the, the, the boots of pain onto the goo. Oh, that's gross. Wow. And these scoots, he's scooting hard here, and it's yeah, working that's... out. That's the value of the uh, boots of pain cat combo. He's keeping decent pace. Ooh, I mean, it's man. actually helping a lot, to be totally honest. Yeah, it's the Boots I of Pain Cat, I think, that's keeping him in this. But it's so dangerous, and he is he is playing spooky. Is this what you want an elimination match to look like? Yeah, this is some Rather hype than, racing you know, here. And both like racers that. are like one solid hit away from dying here, which I shouldn't even say, but I mean, Inkman's <laughs> only got two health. No yeah. no uh, torch for either of them. So you're open up walls, just hoping you don't have a Minotaur about to bear oh. down on you. Mm. Oh, and down goes a cane. So a cane getting knocked out there, not necessarily out of the tournament yet, but getting losing his run there, trying to make it to the exit uh, stairs, and there's a blade master in right. the way. Black skelly, armored skelly, I think. Oh, was it? Oh yeah, you're right. It was an armored skelly. So, yep. I just saw the replay of the replay on my replay screen. Yeah, that's a painful one. Yeah, that's a tough one. It just it spawned and got in the way. Ink using that rat charm really well. Into a conga line. 
and this getting is, this is gonna dragon be lasers. Slow play. Oh. oh yeah, we're gonna see some full Inkman slow play right now, and that cheese was a great find. Still no armor. Okay, apparently not slow play because you gotta check that shop. Or did he kill a shopkeeper? Killed the one two shop. Oh yeah. Okay, never mind. Good job. Good job, Ink. <laughs> Uh, this, one of the, like, Wee. underrated trolley things is Electro Mages opening up other rooms. Yep. And then they swarm at you, and I'm sure that was fully intended. Oh, yeah, yeah. There is a reason that those open doors and big walls. A uh, risk? Take risk. You totally take risk there. That's like one of the only ways you can find armor and you get a potion. I disagree. Jink. Oh yeah. A shrine of risk is one you just kind of don't even see usually. I think people just like are, <laughs> people are risk averse. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's, it's like, like I don't want to take those extra hits. Yeah. <laughs> even, even when it's a safe thing to do. Right. It's nice though. Although, yeah, hopefully he only uses it defensively. The like. Yeah, just for the health ups. I mean, get your scroll in need, I guess. Oh, you... yeah, he could. Act if he, yes, if he. Uh, it's too bad he doesn't have that because he could do. He could go down to a half heart, for a scroll of need, get the potion. Heart transplant and then Bard spam heal on the stairs to get the full. <laughs> I want to see some Bard's. Play. Yeah, that is some third brain stuff right there. I'd love to see some Bard Bard heals using the heart transplant. We don't see that very often, but that's that's some top level play. It's a, it's a good Ooh, jumping into that skeleton. Yeah, the fact that he doesn't have a, a torch right now is is scary. Because there are situations where you can jump into a wall and get yourself... And, of course, he's got the Courage Shovel to back off, but, yeah, like, that's not a room you want to be opening. Yeah. <laughs> Two-hand matching, yeah. Certainly basing. Really just opening every room. <laughs> you can get almost full health without two-hand matching. I can usually get three or four hearts, so I'm just, like, dabbing it with one finger. All right, nice use of the uh, frost bro there. Wow, and so yeah, uh, Inkton looking pretty good here. Okay, this is unnecessary. Mudjo did this in the previous race. I don't agree. Why? Yeah, there's no real reason to. You but it, there's no other place to use it. So but know. just don't use it. Then. <laughs> it's. Ah, uh, okay, fine. Think about it, if anything is, is bad, and the cane goes down on the run back. Yeah, he does. Shield Tome, huge pickup. That's really nice for safety. That's, yeah. Uh, I think you spend a lot of beats here. Yeah, good. And you can, can you double shield? Or is that gonna, no, you have to do both of your shields before you do the, release the Necrodancer, though. Because as soon as you use the second shield, I think it reduces your total shield because of the weird bug. I think we've seen that earlier. Sounds, yeah, if you if you start it after, it's going to reset. Like, you do a shield, and then release the Necrodancer and do another shield right away, you're going to end up actually with less shield, I with think. With a short, right. Because of I the anti-bug. Yeah, it, like, reduces the bug effect. But I don't think doing the double one matters at all. Like, oh, really? You need to do it's not, like, before. freeze? Yeah. It doesn't stack? No, yeah. Oh, okay. That could very oh, well like be true. Yeah. Oh, okay. Free stacks, not shield. Okay, never mind, everybody. I'm just playing the role of the color commentator here. So how does this game, uh, how does this work? What are you, what is going on right now? <laughs> what are we doing? Why does that say confused? Where's the Welsh? All right. Ink Nun taking it. In an 11 minute race. <laughs> the, uh, the, sec the second life given to a cane. The second life has been snuffed out. Um, but yeah, GG. So a cane is going to leave the tournament uh, with, an, uh, I believe, $100. So good job, a cane. So that I will conclude. Last thing today. Yeah, yeah, that concludes today. So tomorrow we've got uh, the first race tomorrow is going to be Heather versus Maya. 
It's the loser's bracket to find out who goes into loser's semis, which will, of course, be the winner of that versus Ink Nun. Uh, and then we've got the winner's finals, Mudjo Spooty. Oh, yeah. And then the loser's finals, which we can't predict right now. And then the grand.